in right away Roxanne my uh, apologies we'll have to look into that to make sure uh, I didn't miss something up but we just started to warm up we have our three rounds we got regular body weight stuff mobility complex Happy Wednesday. A little, a little, a little flustered here. It's a few minutes later than I'd like to to pull into the launch, but everyone ready to go here at the gym? You guys ready to go at home? Uh, you would be pressing play on YouTube if you weren't. All right, so warm up. Like I said, body weight, squats, push ups, shoulder jacks, side lunges, plank swings, skaters. A little Russian twist, five each side, that was weird. All right, full disclosure, I copied and pasted this workout from July. I changed up a couple of exercises, and uh, the Russian twist used to be side plank reach. I forgot to change it to 10. Oops. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go with a nice, simple little workout today. So I like this timed version. Again, I changed up a couple exercises for the workout. And one reason is to keep it a little easier for Nina to teach classes on East Greenwich. They were a huge dog, yanked her last week, and she landed on her butt, got a bruised butt bone. So it's not easy to demonstrate when you get a bruise butt bone so uh, and I'm focusing on our Friday workout we're here at our mobility complex after our first round if you just tuning in and um, yeah talk about the reasons why I copied and pasted the workout from a few months ago sometimes I want to take a break from thinking of new workouts and we have a lot of great workouts that I think people don't mind doing over again. Hopefully this is one of them. Time to work out, 30 seconds on, 5 seconds off. I think it's easy enough. Low through this one. Certainly would be a challenge. You can pick up heavier weight and really go hard. Depending on how you feel as we move into our second round of our warm-up. Right. Anyone went up early this morning to see the sliver of a moon. I don't know if it's a new moon or not, but it's a crescent moon, whatever you call that thing. It's a very thin sliver and the sky was super bright. Lots of stars out. Nice crisp morning, not too, too cool. But maybe a little, a little dry, it makes it nice and crisp, right? Humidity that's passed through now that the storm is gone. You should see some sunshine today. Dry things up a little bit, that would be nice. Although we needed that rain, felt good. Wet things down a little bit. Makes the, uh, the mountain bike trails and I uh, pack down a little bit. And as long as it's drained nicely, it's not too wet. Thanks for some good riding. Yes, I'll probably go out today. Yeah, that's one thing I had to do is get my bike in the truck this morning. So, all right. Get sick of me talking about my life. I can't talk about this workout too much. The warm up, anyways. It's, too easy, too easy for you guys. 
Sometimes I like nice and easy. Nice and easy to get the middle of the week going. That Monday workout was pretty good. A lot of people just getting the A, the B, and the C in on time. There was no time left for bonus round for anybody. Uh, I think the 5am did a bonus after this class, although it's a 40 minute workout. 40? Yeah. Something like that. So, I don't mind having a a little short workout every now and again. Hopefully you guys don't mind that either. If you're at home, you get your own time line anyway, so you can always get that extra cardio in if you need it. You guys go for that jog or bike ride. Or go back to our quarantine times and pick out a core workout. Still got lots of core workouts on the YouTube channel. Those are worth taking a look at. You need a just a half hour workout or something. All right, moving on to our second round of mobility complex. All right, take your time with the stretches. All right, the blood's flowing pretty good now. Heart rate's up a couple ticks. Get deep into those stretches, really get nice and warmed up. So you're ready to attack this workout. All right, I gotta get a couple band-aids, excuse me. Lots of wounds I have to dress, and they are pretty much all, all from mountain biking. Although one is a slice I got on my finger from working on my bike, so that still count as a mountain bike injury. I don't know. <clears throat> That's what Neosporin is for. Good old Neosporin and lavender. I use lots of lavender. And lots of band aids. Alright. <clears throat> Recently remembered too this bandage. I don't know what it's called. Like a, it's not an ace bandage, but it's. it's I want to call it second skin because. Very flexible kind of tape that doesn't have any sticking properties, but when you wrap it around, it sticks to itself and it stays on really good. Excellent for when you're at the gym and you're gotta uh, you know pick stuff up all the time and throw stuff around and uh, band-aids sometimes have a hard time sticking on your fingers. The second skin, whatever it is, wraps around everything and keeps it on there, nice tight, tight like. Not my triage talk. Uh, workout. Again, I think I mentioned it. Timed workout. 30 seconds of work. Five seconds to move from one exercise to the next. We'll stick with uh, the four exercises. You can have a BOSU on here. If you don't have a BOSU at home, uh, steps could work. For a lot of these things, step ups, one foot lateral, two, 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 skaters could be done on the ground. So uh, I'm sure you guys can make it work without the bow Other than that, the dumbbells, body weights. So hopefully, uh, you guys can find the modifications and make it work. All right, follow along with those. 30 seconds on, five seconds off. 
four rounds at each station. All right, if you guys are ready, I'm gonna make sure they're good to go. I'll put that buzzer. Be back shortly. So the format today, right? We got uh, four different sections. We'll stay at each section for four rounds. We'll do four exercises. We'll do it four times. 30 seconds on, five seconds off. So that is pretty much it. We'll take a minute in between each station. Uh, nothing too new up there. We have any questions. I know one more than one. Can only do it a couple times. Just a little bit out in front. All right. Uh, what else? Any other questions? Look at the road. Da, 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 da. straight jump you got uh, no bosu at home we can just do step up some kind of a cardio double jacks jump ropes bosu squat jumps i mean uh jack in the box would work as well find something to get that heart rate up that's all sticking with our classic rock station we got five seconds to get those dumbbells we go bent over row here we go dumbbells you can do it you can one heavy one you can do that whatever you want all right now grab that dumbbell sitting down we'll get our Russian twist we'll do that on the bosu yes all right monkey see monkey do it's 30 seconds keep that chest high push the chest forward lean back make sure our core is engaged feel Engagement of all those muscles. Keep breathing as we pause. Now we got a plank walk up, drag under. Ooh. Lots of core with this one, lots of core with this one. one done we'll go right to round two back to your straight jump here we go what are you doing for cardio jumper jacks jump rope got a machine you want to hop on you can do that i suppose we got some good machine work coming up on friday so can i say yeah i'm excited about our friday workout halloween themed workout Shh, don't tell anyone there we go kevin's in the background he's doing jump rope it's all good, it's all good, getting that heart rate up. All right, now we transition to our bent over row. Find those weights, you can do a single side, do one side, you can go back and forth with two weights, you can do a split stance, back over, bent over row. Switch 
the chat play through if you want. Although, the clock. All right, 10 seconds left. Come on. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Nice, nice, nice. Next up is going to be our Russian twist. Get that Bosu. Hang out on that Bosu. Do it there. Awesome, get that nice rotation, get that nice range of motion. Try to get as low to the ground as you can. Try to touch the ground. If you're not on a bow suit, you should be able to touch the ground. Keep breathing, keep breathing. And we go right to our plank walk up drag. Woo. Tough core combo. Keep that, those glutes, nice tight, keep those glutes. All right, keep those hips locked. And in a good position. All right, hear my voice. Think about your hips. I know you can't see your plank, but imagine where your hips are. Tuck that tailbone. All right, nice plank position. Again, the plank means you're straight at the board from your heels to your shoulders. You got a mirror somewhere in the house? Put it down. See how close you are to that plank position. We got two more rounds to go. Two more rounds to go. Here we go. Great jump. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Getting that heart rate up. You got a bow shoe. That's a good thing. Jumping on it. Pushing those heels through that ball. Soft landing on the ground. All right, all right, all right. Back to our bent over rows. Let's keep that back nice and straight on the bent over rows. All right, chest is forward. We like to lean onto something, we'll put their hand somewhere. If you have ability to do that, that's fine. I like to stand tall and straight. It makes your core have to work to keep the body in the proper position. So you almost have to you know, stick that butt out a little bit, arch your lower back, because that's a natural neutral spine position. Chest is forward, bend it at the waist. That's a lot of core to hold that. All right, push and twist time, push and twist. Come on, let's get to it. Nice big range of motion, get that big rainbow. Touch that ground, down, up and over, eye level, back to the other side. Oh. up round three with those plank walk-ups. Drag that weight under. Good control, good control. All right, not in a rush. Don't have to go fast with these types of uh, exercises here. The plank walk-up is about a good, we uh, do it for 30 seconds, so it's about good endurance. Holding on tight. See if you can't move the whole time. All right, one more round to go. One more round to go. Here we go. One more round. One more round. Four. Uh oh. Uh oh. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, last round. Last round. All right, good, good, good. Well done with that exercise. Here we go. Last round, rest of the ASAP. All right, bent over rows. Oh, I like Henry. He's changing up his grip. Palms in, palms out. You can always do that as well. Finish it, good finish, good finish. And we move on to our Russian twist. 
Oh, so this would be a good test today to see how many people read my little blurb with my preview video. I'm asking people to be a little more cautious on dropping the weights. Someone uh, recently did not pay attention to their weight dropping and got their fingers stuck in between two dumbbells. And, well, let's say the dumbbells won. Okay. Uh, normally people just kind of drop it. There's another drop weight. I get it. It's fun to throw weights around, but and I have a little more respect for the weights. It's just a matter of controlling the weights. And being careful. Very rarely are we gonna break these weights, but you can bounce around and land on your toe, land on somebody else's toe. So always wanna be careful. I know everyone at home is careful with their weights, right? They're not throwing them around, so you don't wanna throw them around in here either. And that will be it for round one. We got a full minute, full minute, full minute. Now, we're gonna move on to B. It's not often we have a full minute break anymore, so it's gonna seem like an eternity for these guys. B set, uh, two, 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 this is fast feet. Two feet on, two feet over, two feet touch, like you're in a tunnel, tap those feet on that BOSU. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. This is about the speed for this one, all right? If you do not have anything at home, you can do, uh, what do we do, like a one, two, one. You know what the one, two, one is, right? We should do it through a ladder, and you can just do it right in one spot. Tap, 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 tap. Da, 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 da. Right, quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. All right, try some extension. Grab those weights, stand them up over the head. Drop the weights down to your shoulders and then extend them up. One weight, two weights, whatever works. Two small ones, one big heavy one. Bank it up, bank it up, bank it up. All right. Work guys, good work, good work. Next up is gonna be a sit up with our cross jab. So two lighter dumbbells, sit up, jab, jab, sit up, jab, jab. That's nice, there it is. All right, good strong sit up. Keep those weights up nice and high. All right. Good, 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 good. And we finish the round with the V-sit leg drop. So are we sitting down, legs come up, hands up if you can, control your legs. Chest is forward, core is engaged, we're holding on, we're breathing, we're dropping that leg. Find that comfort zone if you need to, drop the hands a little bit. I get it, 30 seconds is a while. Hold it tight though, hold it tight. You got it, you got it, you got it. You got it. Nice work, nice work. All right. Go back to our two, two, two on that Bosu. You can do a little one, two, one in your spot or a high knee kick, heel kick, and something. Just get those knees pumping, hot right up. All right, I'm gonna open that garage door.
left hands. High step extensions. A little down under going on right now for our music. Sticking with a classic rock theme for our playlist today. Seems to get people moving good. But again, our goal is to not have the music come on to our Zoom meeting so that YouTube doesn't ban us. All right, we got to sit up with your cross jabs next. Tell and they remix it. Anyways, all right, let's keep sitting up. Come on, nice, nice, nice. Stay sitting, put those weights down. Do you sit, leg drop? All right, good control here, good control. Now, sometimes. People got lower back issues and it doesn't feel good to sit like this. If the hands on the ground doesn't help, you can go to the lying position, put your hands under your butt and just do like a little leg lift. That is a good modification as well. I see some people out there doing flutter kicks. That's acceptable as well. I just like that position to be in, chest forward. You have to hold your upper abs or the lower abs are working on dropping the leg. We're back to the bow suit, two, two, two. The bow suit, pump those knees, little high knees. Or the, I like that one, two, one. Or otherwise known as the, uh, the Heisman. If you're familiar with college football, that Heisman trophy, that sidestep. So you can do like a one, two, one, and you pause with that knee up high. One, two, one, pause on the other side. Just about having quick feet, quick feet. Our goal here is to be fast, fast, fast over that bow suit. I see everyone slowing down a little bit. All right, tricep extension. I'm trying to keep those elbows nice and tight. I like to do some two dumbbells independently. That means you gotta kind of have a little more stability, muscles working. It's fine if you have just the one, that works as well. But I like the two option. A little dynamic work right there. Good work, good work, good work. Coming up next, your sit up with jabs. Sit, leg drop. There we go. Here we go. Finish up round three of our second set. Control it, control it, control it. All right. One more time through. One more time through. Two, two, here we go. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Whatever you're doing, what you're trying to do it quickly. All right, all right, all right. We're all done with that. Tricep extension.
right. Sit up, cross jab is next. Nice, nice, nice. Chest up. All right. Good work, good work, good work. We finish with our D sit leg drop. There it is. There it is. Good work, good work, good work. Build that core endurance. Come on. Hold on tight. Chest forward. Lean back. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Almost there. Almost there. All right. Last 10 seconds. That's it. Nice, nice, nice. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. And relax. Relax, relax. All right, another minute, another minute break. All right, back to our Bosu. One for the lateral, for the C set, our no monies. All right, hands up and forward. Now we're going to do some core, more core on the BOSU, your side plank hip drop, and that bear crawl. Heavy, heavy, heavy on the core today. About 20 seconds. Nice deep breath. Again, the first exercise is always a BOSU. So we're really trying to get that heart rate up. Again, if you want to stick with jumping jacks, jump rope, cross jacks, something like that, go ahead. You got boxes, you can do your one foot lateral on instead of boxes or something similar to that. But look for that little pop, little pop, little pop. You can even do this with no BOSU, just one foot lateral on the ground, just kind of still popping up in the air. All right, all right, all right. Now these no money is tall, tall, tall. All right, elbows in on top of your hip bones, and then just as you rotate, arms out. Try to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Really accentuate that squeezing of the shoulder blades together. Get that nice scapular kind of squeeze. That's what we're looking for. All right, side plank with a hip drop. You have your forearm on the ball, you have your feet on the ball. That's it, good, 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 guys. No ball, no problem. Side plank on the ground, it's time. Make sure you know what side you're on though, so we can do the other side next round. And a bear crawl to finish the set. You're on your hands, you're on your toes, you're bending your knees, your knees are almost on the ground. As you walk around, slow, controlled, sideways, front to back, wherever you got room, walk like a bear. Again, your knees should be right under your hips. So they're straight up and down, from the hips down to the ground, and just off the ground a little bit, and you're on your toes. Lots of core, lots of shoulders. Walk around. All right. All right. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Sometimes it's fun to walk around like an animal, no? I think so. Make up some noises if you want. No one's at home. No one's listening. Go ahead. Make some bear noises. Speaking of bears, I saw this hilarious video. Some guy's driving down the street. I have no idea where it was. And he's freaking out because, oh, there's a bear, there's a bear. And I drive closer, the bear opens the door to a truck 
in somebody's driveway has been moved from one foot ladder which are no money gets in the truck and somehow closes the truck door i don't know if it was a real video or not it certainly looked like it was a real video but uh it was too hilarious the caption was oh watch this bear go to work uh, i don't know that's what the internet was made for funny stuff like that to make you laugh not for all the other crap Cat videos, funny cat videos, funny animal videos. Let's use the internet for some good. Or, hey, we are using it for some good. You're watching this video because of the internet. That's a good thing, right? There we go. All right, back to our side plank hip drop. Remember what side you were on? So switch sides. Again, you want to have that nice, strong side plank. So you're really focusing on your shoulders. Uh, your elbow right underneath that shoulder, so nice and strong through that back. And then you drop the hip, drop the hip. All right, nice job, nice job. Back to that bear crawl, making those bear sounds. What kind of a sound does a bear make? Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right. Keeping those knees right under the hips. That's the key. Keeping those knees right under the hips as you walk around. Even just standing. You do a bear dog, uh, which is just lifting one arm and the opposite leg. You don't have a whole lot of room to move around. Sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. You can just do like a bird dog where your knees are off the ground. Back up to our one foot lateral. You can do the same motion without the ball. Just popping, trying to get some height as you go side to side. A little skip action kind of. Nobody time, nobody, nobody, nobody. Chest forward, shoulder blades back. Squeeze as you do it. Elbows are out of 90. And a strong wrist too, don't let those wrists sag. All right, good work, good work, good work. Side plank again on the other side now. Online, they should make some bear noises. So, I want to, I want to, I want to hear the, the big bear crawl noise. I had a visitor. Henry came over and said hi. Nobody's guys, nobody's. Oof. Good work, 
a work a work. Side flank, hip drop. Nice work, nice work. Finish with that bear crawl. Move around, move around. Let out there, let her roar if you need to. Why not? Why not? That's it, that's it, that's it. Keep that position, keep that spine nice and long. See, take a minute break. One more set to go. Feeling better than Monday? Feeling better than Monday? sides if you want the pause is just the balance thing We're just trying to keep our balance right a lot of times when you skate here go back and forth it's easier to just go back and forth but that hold will get that little balance work stick the landing stick the landing okay we've got the reverse grip curls palms facing out In a good way? All right, let's get feedback from the group out there. I guess it's a little difficult doing that reverse grip. Lots of forearms. Yeah, we got a lot of arms today. This is the goal. And now this W Superman, right? We lift everything up and then bring those elbows back. Up, back. It's a two kind of motion. So you lift everything and then bring those elbows back. Make that W, make that big W, right? And that's why it's called the W Superman. Lift and pull back while you stay up. Lift. And pull back. Your arms should be straight to start and then pull them back as you're up. So you're staying up in that position. And then sprinters to finish. Nice, slow, control. Sprinters got a BOSU. You want to be on that? That's fine. skaters switch sides Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right. 
as reverse grips. Nice and tall, right? Make sure your spine is nice and long. Good, good, good. Those arms now, feeling those arms. Woo. More dropped weights. Like Superman's. Again, we want to try to lift our arms straight up out in front and then pull those arms back. Squeeze in the lower back, good squeeze into the upper back, shoulders. And our sprinters to finish. Almost done. I almost done. Fast workout. Fast workout. Get through these sprinters for strong. Two more rounds. Two more rounds. Come on. Skaters, stick, stick, stick those skaters. Nice work, nice work, nice work. All right, first grips. Here we go, nice and tall, nice and tall, lifting those arms up. Work. You have to alternate. That's definitely an option. They start to get kind of heavy. You have a hard time with them. Alternating is fine. Nice work. Nice work on these Superman. Squeeze those shoulders back. Arms up, then squeeze it back. Sprinters to finish. Nice work, nice work. One more time through, one more time through. Nice job, guys, nice job. Last of the cardio. Come on. Nice, nice, nice. Reverse grip curls.
Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. All right. Two more to go. Two more to go. Nice work. Nice work. That's a quick hitter of a workout. This one goes kind of fast. That's our last two exercises now. Get those Supermans up. Really extend the back. Uh, arms up. Arms come back. Good squeeze. Make that W. Alrighty, beautiful day gonna to be today, right? A nice fall weather. Get outside and enjoy it today. All right. Again, this wasn't the craziest, uh, uh, intense, most intense workouts we do, but it's kind of doing that on purpose. So if you want to get a little extra workout today, go for a bike ride, go for a jog, get outside, nice long walk, go for a hike. I know you get to work uh, as well, but. Whatever, get outside. It's a beautiful day. Let's enjoy it while we got it. All right, guys. So this is all we got for today. These guys I might offer them to do a little bonus round on the skier if they feel they need a little bit extra. So if you guys want a bonus round yourself, you can figure it out, find something good to do, and go after it, or you're done. That's fine. It's okay to be done. It's a good workout. It's good core stuff. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this workout. Like it, share it, thumbs up it. You know the deal. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys on Friday. Again, I look forward to our Friday workout. It'll be fun. We'll see you then.